Hey everybody, it's Rhino, Tom, Craig. We're here at uh, Paradise Pier in Disneyland and we are gonna try out a place I've never been to. Have what? you guys been here? I have, but Not, it was yeah. as an invited guest by Disney, so it okay. was but just a quick meal. But with this, this particular breakfast? It's PC, I don't remember. PCH okay. Grill, by the way. So we're at the yeah. PCH Grill, it's Donald Duck's Seaside Breakfast. Yeah, which is just, new, right? Yeah, yeah. well, it, last summer it started, so okay. it kind of oh, shoveled all the characters around. So okay. This is definitely new for me. There you yeah. go. Yeah, so I'm excited to go in there. We're also here with Pete, Charles, and Corey Fiasco. They're you can kind of right see now. them behind there. I almost picked Tom's nose, so, so we're, I'm starving. So we're going to dive right in. Stitch's idea. It's a Craig's coffee. Awesome, thank you. Oh, look, your coffee's here. Oh. Oh, let me. Let yeah, me even try. Stitch is excited for your coffee. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just wrapped up our, uh, our breakfast at the PCH Grill. It was Donald's... Donald Duck's Seaside Breakfast. Donald Duck's Seaside Breakfast. Um, I'll just give my, my thoughts. Uh, this is not one of my favorite places to eat because I've had some really, really, really bad experiences. So I was happy that I enjoyed my meal. Now again, I keep it really basic with this stuff. So it was scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage. Um, try to stay away from the carbs so uh, but every, like, everything I had was really good and our server was phenomenal Nicholas was his name and he was on top of everything and the character interaction was fantastic stitch was particularly good I thought um, but I you know was uh, ended up being for six adults with my annual pass discount was about including gratuity was about 250 bucks so works out to about forty dollars a person with the discount it's $48 and change uh, after tax and gratuity is added in if you're not using a discount. But uh, Craig, what about you? Yeah, I thought it was really fantastic. It, I didn't really take stuff from the actual main buffet line. I went mostly towards Marcos and the make your own omelet and fresh egg section. He had a lot of personality too. Oh yeah, no, he, he is a fun guy. So uh, it's nice talking to him while he was cooking all the food but yeah from there I did an omelet I also tried they had chorizo and eggs and I'm in California of course I'm gonna be like stereotypical and get everything with chorizo and guacamole and just hot sauces in general and it was all wonderful uh, fresh delicious uh, especially the guacamole made it in-house very spicy so that's my kind of big takeaway from it since that's mostly what I, I was doing and I thought it was just fantastic. I was very happy, very surprised because I remember just being so-so the last time yeah. we ate here a while back and like you said, the characters, they were, they were awesome. So they all had personality. Daisy might have actually been the best. She mm -hmm. was doing her spins. Rhino can talk more about that. But. And of course, Tom Tinkerbell. Right. Um, so, no, Craig, Craig, that's you his talk name now. Craig, you talked about the being California. Did you try the chilaquiles? Yes. Yeah. What did you think? Uh, 
they were good. The flavor was good. I could have used a little bit of Tabasco or a hot sauce with it. And I think I just had a particularly soggy bunch too. So it happens, but the flavor was good. Okay. So that's one of the like the signature items here that you can't get at any of the other buffets, the chilaquiles, which is like a... I didn't have any of the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> which is like a, like a breakfast lasagna casserole, basically. Yeah. yeah. Tortillas, red sauce, scrambled eggs. Uh, I, I like the expanded buffet. Um, I think it's better than Storytellers as far as the selection. Uh, but well, my last my last breakfast at Storytellers was not good. Yeah, yeah. Um, two different kinds of sausage, bacon. Uh, which you had the eggs Benedict, right? I had the eggs Benedict, yeah, which were good. They were yeah. like the best eggs yeah. Benedict I've ever had. Yeah. But I thought the hollandaise on it was was good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my egg was poached properly, but you know, Charles would talk about his. His yeah. was his was overcooked. But it was nice to have a separate kids buffet section with. Um, Chicken nuggets and Mickey waffles. They also have and uh, Mickey, Mickey pancakes, pancakes and, uh, and then little uh, French, toast. French toast with bananas in it. Uh, standard pastries, little cinnamon rolls, things like that. Great buffet, good, or good buffet, great interaction, great. Yeah, I love um, it. it's the, it, it, and that's what it's all about. Is you're paying for characters, the characters, and, and you do add, get your money's worth here with that. Yeah, yeah, and add to that the 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 great service we had. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat it. And yeah. you know, look, I, I wouldn't say that it's uh, it's an adequate replacement for Goofy's Kitchen, um, but if you can't get into Goofy's Kitchen, don't want to do Goofy's Kitchen, yeah. I thought this was a good a good yeah. alternative. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done Goofy's Kitchen, but just from my memory on it, I might actually slide this up just a little bit. But oh, just based on what I Goofy's had here today. Goofy's Kitchen is kind of hectic. Yeah. Well, this wasn't exactly calm. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. Goofy's wins for the characters, but this, I think, the food was spot on. But other people probably want to talk about food too. Yeah, well, let's let the next group talk. Okay, so yeah, they had a lot to say. I don't know how much we can we can add too much to this, but I I did really enjoy all the food. I thought it was all very fresh um, compared to some buffets I've been to before. The character interactions are great. You've got that Daisy, who's got to be everywhere apparently. Uh, she was super sassy. I know people love it. The mini was there. Um, you had Stitch. I love Donald's uh, outfit he was wearing, his surfer outfit. Um, I thought that was cute. Um, they were very interactive and they spent time. It didn't feel rushed. It wasn't super hectic. I like that there was, you know, you had stuff kind of all over the realm. You had your eggs, you know, the standard issue eggs, bacon. I like that it wasn't just pork sausage. There was chicken sausage in there. Um, the omelet station was phenomenal. I agree with Craig. It's some of the best guacamole I've had at Disney because it was nice and spicy and I like that. Um, all the all the people we interacted with were very friendly and you know there was a soft serve station on the way out so that made me very happy but what do you guys think what do you think Corey? yeah the selection like you said was was amazing and they even had ice cream they had chicken and waffles there was something there for everybody i was really surprised with how many things they were offering but yeah stitch stitch was awesome he took time to interact with all of us get pictures video with all of us he was really really funny it was a great great character interaction and then also i'd like to point out our service was amazing that guy was on the spot with the coffee refills oh yeah with the juice refills with the water oh yeah he was coming by every like he, two minutes oh, or he, something yeah, yeah he was awesome and it was busy in there too so he was he was fantastic service was fantastic i thought the food was great it's about what i'd expect from a from a character breakfast experience but with a little bit more choices and options than i would have expected so what do you think charles you like it Huh? Did you like it? Because I know you got anxiety toward inter having to interact with characters and yeah. stitch straight up laid on top of your head. So. Yeah. Um, now the thing is, like, uh, character meals are generally not my thing. Breakfast, totally not my thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of lot of busyness early in the morning. But I will say that uh, the cast members were great, absolutely great, uh, and really made me feel at ease. And there's also there's enough space to where it was busy, but it didn't feel cluttered and it didn't feel like crazy anxiety yeah. inducing. There's a lot of space between both sides of the buffet too. So like I didn't feel like I was muscling between I, people. I didn't to feel get the my pressure food. of somebody like, like right up. Yeah, behind it me. was busy, but every time I was in line to get food, I still felt like I had my space and I could take my time to yeah. grab stuff. Uh, as far as the food's concerned, you know, it, it was good. It's your stand most of it's your standard breakfast fare. So it's about quality really, not about being anything unique. Yeah. Good eggs are important and they had good eggs. Uh, the omelet bar was awesome and once again great cast member interaction. It was uh, was really fun, kinda like uh, put me at ease and everything. So as much as I don't like character interactions and I don't like character breakfast, I totally didn't I had a fun time there. I, I really did enjoy myself. 
and I thought they uh, they did a great job. It's probably like, you know, it's not top notch as far as the most unique characters you're ever gonna find or anything like that. Um, but the characters that were there were cool and they did interact and they did hit table to table. So you got to see them, but you could also take pictures with them. And yeah. none of that, uh, as busy as it was, none of that felt overly congested. It didn't feel like I was adding a lot of stress to my morning, which is what I was worried about. So I was pleasantly surprised with this one, and I would totally do it again. Yeah, I, I think it was good. I, I don't know if it's something where I'm like, seek it, go out of your way to find it. The Like we've said, the breakfast options are pretty basic. You know, I've never really been blown away by like really creative breakfast options. Um, but there were good options, so, you know, something for everybody, I feel like. Well, you save the creativity for brunch. Breakfast yes. is just about putting eggs in your stomach, and uh, and they did a good job at that. Yeah, you know? yeah, I think so, too. And so, um, I think that's pretty much all we have to say about that. That's the Donald, I can't remember the name of it. The seaside Don Breakfast. Donald oh. Seaside Breakfast. There I tried to look it up. Oh, yeah, yeah you got yeah, a we nice also got a button yeah, on like the way out. Oh, came a button, by, yeah, and gave all of us these uh, buttons, and right here it says a Donald Seaside Breakfast. Yeah, you so... So uh, if you've been before, we'd love to hear your comments about it in the in the section below this video on YouTube. Um, you know, if you've got other character dinings that you've been blown away about, we'd also like to hear about those. Or ones you love, ones you hate, whatever. Get that conversation started in the comments section below. Uh, but that'll do it for this video. We'll see you again next time with another one. Bye, everybody.